from about 3 or 4 p.m. onwards, we just sit by the hotel pool and just watch all of the coaches come in. There is so many. Any sort of authentic feeling is gone. It has been replaced by this sort of Disneyland vibe. Some places are popular for a reason. The romantic appeal of Hoi An, Vietnam is undeniable. A place that feels like it was taken straight from the pages of a fairy tale. Recently voted as the number one tourist destination in the world. But there is a side to Hoi An that you don't see on Instagram. Underneath its photogenic exterior, the magic of this historic place is being destroyed by mass tourism. So it's half past nine in the morning and we're just taking a walk through the ancient town and it is almost completely deserted. The name Hoi An translates as the quiet meeting place. And at this time in the morning, it's easy to see why. You can walk along the peaceful streets, admire the beautiful colonial architecture and stroll along the peaceful canals. But get to the late afternoon from about four o'clock when the sun goes down, the lanterns turn on. It's a completely different story. It is 10 past three and the coaches have already started arriving. It's at this time when the outskirts of town turn into a giant parking area. From about three or 4 p.m. onwards, we just sit by the hotel pool and just watch all of the coaches come in. There is so many. And the quaint, charming streets become clogged with giant tour groups and cycling trips. Don't get me wrong, the streets and the architecture are really, really nice, but I just feel that Hoi An has become a victim of its own success. Any sort of authentic feeling is gone and it's been replaced by this sort of Disneyland vibe. The perfect example of that is the speakers that are all around the town blasting out music all day which is literally how they manufacture atmosphere in theme parks. And when sunset comes around, it gets even worse. We've spoken to quite a few locals since we've been here in Hoi An and they've all told us the same thing, which is within the last five years, the tourism has just exploded. Emma was here only two years ago and even she's noticed the difference. It's just completely overrun with people that in the evenings, it's just hard to enjoy now. It just seems like the quiet meeting place is long gone. Hoi An's priorities have changed, catering more and more to mass tourism, the Instagram crowd. We booked 10 days here, but we ended up canceling our booking after five days and instead headed 30 kilometers down the coast to a city that became a highlight of our time in Vietnam. The point of this film isn't to dissuade you from going to Hoi An completely. I actually think you should go and make your own mind up. But I think you should limit your time there and maybe focus some more attention to some of the areas around the city. 45 minutes from Hoi An is a really underrated city that most people just skip right through. Welcome to Da Nang. Da Nang is the fifth largest city in Vietnam. But if you think it's just another concrete jungle, then think again. You've got amazing nature, beautiful secluded beaches, nightlife, restaurants, and so much more. It's a very cool city in its own right, and here are some of my favorite things about it. Let's start with the obvious, at Da Nang's amazing beach. The silky, smooth sands of Mikei Beach make up the best section of Da Nang's five kilometer coastline. And amazingly, it's almost never busy. 
In my opinion, it's even nicer than An Bang Beach, which is the most popular beach for tourists near Hoi An. Sontra was renamed Monkey Mountain by American soldiers during the Vietnam War for pretty obvious reasons. The baby one, isn't it? The best way to explore the peninsula is by motorbike. But if you can't ride one or the sloping, twisting roads are a little bit scary for you, then you can hire your own driver for the day. I mean... I just want to point out that we are the only people on any of these beaches. It's completely deserted. Paradise. 15 minutes from the city. This is a day trip that most people take from Hoi An, which is a lot further away. Another of Hoi An's most popular day trips is Marble Mountain, which is again, a lot closer to Da Nang. A cluster of five unique hills with tunnels, caves, hidden temples, and some amazing viewpoints. This is one of the most touristy spots in the area, so you should definitely get there early, but there was far more climbing through little gaps in the rock than I expected, which ended up being a lot of fun. There's also the Mi Son Sanctuary, Vietnam's answer to the Angkor Wat temples which is an hour closer to Da Nang than Hoi An, so it makes those sunrise trips a lot easier. In Da Nang, we stayed in an area called Mi An, which sits right on the beachfront, boasting an amazing restaurant and bar scene. Da Nang is full of cool restaurants, coffee shops and bars with all sorts of different vibes. So there's something for everyone and there's something new popping up every single day it seems. This place is so cool. Probably the most hipster place I've ever been in my life, but very cool. And in the evenings, where better to sip a cocktail than in one of the rooftop bars, looking over some amazing views of the beach and the city skyline. Right in the center of the city, you'll find Da Nang's most famous landmark. Da Nang has a strong bridge game and none of them are stronger than the Dragon Bridge. The bridge is 666 meters long, fitting six whole lanes of traffic. It has great views over the river and the skyline, but also has a much more unique feature. On Saturdays and Sundays, the dragon's head actually blows fire from its mouth. You can't say that about most bridges in the world. I loved Da Nang for everything that it offered us as long-term travelers. But there is one problem. It's not quite finished yet. Mian, in particular, feels a bit like a work in progress. But honestly, in a couple of years time, this place is gonna be the new Chiang Mai. It's such a livable city with so many nice cafes, places to eat, things to do. I can't see anything but a bright future for this amazing place. Yeah.